Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to race number seven of the season. We're at Pikes Peak International Raceway. That's right, the other racetrack in Colorado. Well, of like three, since we do have another track that we're going to go to. Or did I put it on the schedule? No, I don't think I put it on the schedule. Never mind. Uh, ignore me. Well, don't ignore me because I'm going to be doing commentary for this race. Anyways, 75 laps is the race distance at this just a blip over a mile long racetrack. See, just a blip. It's going to be Bryce Riles on pole today alongside Travis Hopeland, his best qualifying effort thus far this season. Chase Marks with this really good run today in his underfunded car. Well, not underfunded, but you know, underpowered car. Sean English, another rookie, in fourth. And you have Natani Kaiser, Zen Langthan, the Magi Brothers, sitting in row number three. Craig o, Corbett, Hunter Kiro, Carpenter, Blade Runner, Spencer, Mullen, Alan Bledsoe, and Joseph Onesto, the top 15. As we get set to go racing here for, like I said, 75 laps. Also, it was just announced earlier this week that Ford will no longer use the Taurus in their racing lineage for stock cars. It will be the Mustang. Anyways, on they onward they go towards turn one. Green flag is out. We are underway. Sorrells tries to hold off Hoflin. Down the back straightaway they go for the first time today. Hoflin hanging strong on the outside with Sean English pushing him. But Riles looks to maybe clear the 13 off of turn number two. He does. Chase Marks tries to get to the inside of the 13. Hoflin tries to block. Can't quite block. 41 will get alongside the 13 off of turn two. Riles pulls away now as the field battles behind him. Lamas with a very poor qualifying effort way back in the field. This field all still bunched together. Hopefully able to hold off Marks. It's now Marks and English left the battle side by side. Down the back straight away for the third time today. A2 length and former champion trying to hold off his younger sibling. Well, stuck on the outside lane. Crago giving Kaiser a push down the front straightaway. Marks right on the back bumper of the 62. 77 99 battling side by side now through 1 and 2. That is for the ninth position. English clear of Marks now. Marks clear of length and length and clear of Kaiser. As Craig Owen and Carpenter in a battle side by side, Carpenter jumps up to the high lane and he's going to make it work. He passes the 62 for 7. Craig is fighting back on the inside with a push from the 77. The 3 wide behind them, meanwhile, just at the edge of the top 10. And Corbett is going to be the one losing out on that as Kiro moves up into the top 10. With the 25 left being battle side by side with the 99. Now here comes the 24 of Alan Bledsoe. Continuing to make it three wide for 11th. Don't count on John Mullen. He's in this battle as well. Maybe some contact between 25 and 99 there. At least Corbett left him on the outside looking in. But he gets the run off the corner. And able to hold off Onesto. But here comes Lionheart now. Trying to get to the inside of the 99 through 3 and 4. For the field, Crago back around Carpenter is now sends in one car battle side by side once again. Meanwhile, for second, here comes Sean English to the inside of the 13, making it a Ford 1 2 now. Down the back straightaway, it is going to be the 6 clearing the 13. Further back in the field, Harris, not a very good day today. Coleman, not a very good today. So far, Lamas. Still trying to pick his way through traffic. Two cons, 500 winner, RJ Bishop stuck in traffic. Alana Kiro won last week at Sonoma. Back just 
in within the top 20. Carpenter might actually lose a spot out here to Tyler Blade Runner in the 77. With Hunter Kiro there to strike if needed. And there we go. Blade Runner clear of Carpenter. Now here comes Kiro. Actually edges out ahead of Carpenter through one and two. Might have, might have cleared him. Eggs in the corner, but Carpenter fights back on the outside lane. Ooh. That was very close between 24 and 25 there right behind Carpenter. As Spencer uses the chrome horn to get to the inside of the 24. We'll actually get to the line first. There's some interesting racing going on here. The 97 still leads. Harris falls back to last. This field begins to spread out while still being racing. Ooh, contact between Kiro and Vanessa. They're in the wall. That is going to bring out the caution for the first time today. Hard impact for Ernesto into the wall. Looks like English and Riles did not take the caution. While the third, well, everyone third on back did indeed take the caution. Now to take a look back to see what happened here. As you can see, yep, the caution came out right there. Just after the English cross the line. Don't know if that was just a misjudge on Kiro's part or just Ernesto slowed up a little bit more than anticipated going through the corner. Now the case, the 29 got back into the 5 and they both went up hard into the wall. First, Ernesto pretty much head on into the outside wall. Very hard impact for him. Glad to see that he was able to get out of his car okay. His car is now in for their first stops of the day, and Hovland's going to get out first. With Riles, second, just barely edging out. The six, 82 is going to be fourth. 41, 62, 77. And the 30 of Jennifer Legacy. With a very quick stop. And the 48 Alam is also a very quick stop. Onesto so far the only driver out of the race. Yeah, with that stop, that jumped to Lamas all the way up to 23rd, but Legacy, 8th now after being in what position at the caution? Or before the caution? 24th, so yeah. Now, this field rounds the final corner, getting ready to go racing once again here at Pikes Peak. Hoflin leads English in second, Riles back to third. Green flag is out, we are back underway at Pikes Peak. English trying to get to the 13, gets to the inside through turns one and two. He's going to try and make a move for the lead, and he will. 
Riles can't get to the 13 and will be still stuck in third. Lengthen, meanwhile, trying to find a way around the 97. 41, trying to get a run to 82. Great run for Chase Marks today. Trago, meanwhile, trying to find a way around that number 41 car. Now here comes Riles to the inside of Hopeland now. Through one and two. Now here comes Lengthen on the exit of turn two. Meanwhile, farther back in the field, Legacy. Not the strong car that she wants. And she's going to be relegated to falling back through the field as Spencer's gone around her. Kaiser's going to edge Legacy at the line. And Bledsoe's next in line to get around the 30. Carpenter, meanwhile, tries to make a move around the 99 of Corbett outside the top 10. Further back in the field, Lama's actually, I think, lost a couple spots. Yeah, he was 23rd at the restart. Now he's 25th. Might lose 26. Actually, he just lost 26, so he might lose a couple of spots here. A couple more spots, it is. Despite being in that crash and having a hard impact with the wall, Kiro actually able to keep up with the field a little bit. English pulling away from Riles now as Lengthen is... Well, yeah, Lengthen got around to 13, but... Hopeland able to hold on strong. Crago making it... A, uh... Two of the cars he owns in the top five. Now the 41 and 77 left battling side by side. Usually mid-pack cars up running in the top 10. Great runs for them today. As we're nearing the one-third mark of this race. Blade Runner around marks. Now here comes Spencer trying to get to the 41. Number three of Miles Lonhart trying to get into the top 10. He led... All except for maybe eight or nine laps at Phoenix earlier this season. Missed out on a win due to the lap traffic. He wants to get back up into the top ten. He wants to do well. And he pushes the 24 of Alan Bledsoe past the 83 and up to the 41. Ooh, Marks tried to cover off the inside, trying to... Block the 24 of Alan Bledsoe. Couldn't quite get there. Avoids the wreck in three and four. Ending his day early along with, or avoiding ending his day early rather. Actually able to hold off the 24 in one and two. Something we haven't quite seen today. Carpenter now looks to Still continue the battle with Corbett for that position. As Hopeland loses another few spots. It's not what Hopeland wants to see today, especially after starting second and leading a few laps. A short while ago. Lamas has just continued to lose spots the entire race. Not a great day for the 48 team today. English continues to lead Riles and Lengthen. Craig going fourth in the 77 in fifth. Spencer running in sixth. Hopeland seventh. Chase Marks, great day for him so far in eighth. Kaiser in the 24 battle for ninth and tenth with Lightheart in the mix as well.
Draws the length and catching the six of English. One rookie versus two veterans. So we're getting a sniff of a battle for the lead in the middle stages of this race. Craig was not too far back as well. He could capitalize on this as well as maybe the 77 of Tyler Blade Runner. Of course, with as early as they pitted, they do have one more pit stop to make at least. As you can only go about 45 laps on a single tank of gas at this track, which means this would act, which means if someone wanted a short pit, this would be about the point where they would have to do it. Craig right, was actually caught up with these guys by himself. Spencer's caught up to the 77. It looks like Chase Marks has actually lost a spot to 83 of Kaiser. Carpenter and Corbett still going at it for the 12th spot. Yeah, 12th spot. Top four all grouped together. Ford, Ford, Pontiac, Dodge. With another Pontiac in fifth. And as I was saying, this is about if you wanted a short pit and go the full distance on a single tank of gas, now would be the time. As Riles now on the attack against English for the lead, while the 82 of Lengthen has to defend against Crago for third. Hopefully, meanwhile. Battling side by side with Kaiser, as now my game is stuttering slightly. That's not good. Alright, I don't know what happened there, but my game was stuttering. That's not good. Not good at all. Hopefully that doesn't mess anything up with anything. Slum has fallen way back in the field. Kaiser's gone around hopefully now as Corbett thought about taking the three wide going into turn number three. Thought better of it. 24 now moves up to ninth. Corbett passed the 13 of Hopeland for 10. No, for 9. Where? Oh, Marks. Chase Marks fell out the top then. And now Hopeland gets passed for 10th by the three of Lionheart. I mean, Home Depot this weekend instead of Coca-Cola. <sighs> now, Hoflin just going to fall like a rock here as he's stuck on the outside with a slower car than the rest of these drivers that are right there. Somehow, Sean English has managed to fend off Bryce Riles. By the way, we are past the halfway point in this race. Probably should mention that. Who well, was going to be, but let's see who wasn't going to be last. 91 loses that battle.
Craig Owen length and now battling side by side for third. Down back straight away and then turn three. Who's got the advantage? Nobody. Craig Owen now has the advantage in one is that's where people have been faster. On the bottom lane, we went to pretty much most of the race. Because as they battle side by side, they lose time to the rest of the field. Hopefully and falling back all the way to 14th position. Not where he wanted to be after starting second. Ninety two of Kiro and the forty one of Marks battling side by side outside the top ten. Chase Mark or not Chase Marks, Chase Carpenter. In 11th right now, he wants to crack the top 10. Lightheart and Corbett battling side by side for 9th right now. Just in front of him. It looks like the 82 of Lengthen has actually held off Crago for that third position. As we are actually nearing... Pit stops here for the next 10 to 15 laps from now. Of course, just as I say that, Legacy dives for Pit Road. Hopefully, and actually on Pit Road right now, getting some fresh rubber fairly early on. Of course, as well as Lamas in the three. Doesn't look like anybody else pits this time by. Looks like the 13 of Hoefland and the 48 of Lamas will avoid going a lap down. As Riles and Crago now dive down for pit road. As does Marks. Uh, the 8 of uh, Cam Barnes, the 9 of Jesse Dalton, the 81 of Tang Bishop dives down pit road, or for pit road, as does the 86 of Miller and the 29 of Hero, the 91 goes for pit road. Now here comes the leader. Langton stays out another lap. 25 and 77 come down. Alan Bledsoe stays out. Leinhardt stays out. 44 of Maddox stays out, as does the 42. The 02 stays out. Ninety seven ahead of Caution is out for Wreck in turn three that involves Cam Barnes and the O2. Right at towards the end of Green Flag Pit Stops, and the O2 just comes swiping across the 29, who wasn't even a part of it. The O2 just dives for pit road, gets service. We're gonna have to take a look at what happened here between the O2 and the Eight looks like just poor timing on both drivers' parts. The O2 comes diving for pit road as Cam Barnes tries to rejoin the racetrack. They both go for a spin. And this is going to play chaos with the running order. 
Ooh, as Linar goes for a spin now in turn three. Was knocked into by Ravenhurst under caution. So while the field gets its field. Ooh, what happened to the 82 of Langthan? He has damage to the rest of his car, but what happened to him? Contact with Hunter Kiro, and it had to do that whole glitch where he slides back into this bit stall and then has to, I guess, tow. And then never get service. So, looks like... Alright, so it looks like our running order is set up. So English is the leader, Blade Runner is second, Riles is fourth, while Spencer is third, Trego fifth, Hoefland back up into the top ten in sixth, Corbett seventh, Carpenter in cracks the top ten in eighth, Ravenhurst ninth, Kaiser tenth, with Lamas in eleventh, Williams twelfth, Hunter Kiro thirteenth, Merzlac fourteenth, Mullen fifteenth, and as I mentioned with Langton being stuck on pit road, he goes a lap down. Only car a lap down. It's not the only car with damage. We get set to go racing once again. Getting ready for that green flag to be displayed for the field. Off of turn number four into the travel we go. And there it is. Green flag is back underway just before the field reaches the start and finish line. Spencer immediately dives down to the inside. But he's going to get caught up behind the 82 of Langton. And he's going to immediately put the 82 three wide with the 77 of Blade Runner, who got a little loose entering turn three. Now, Blade Runner and 25 are going to be side by side. Here comes Hopeland now as Riles is stuck on the 82. The 82 is going to try and cut down to the inside. Can't quite get to the inside because Crago is there. Meanwhile, English is going to run away as they're side by side for second in the turn number three. 82 length and showing that he still has some speed by keeping ahead of Riles. As Hoefland now tries to get to the inside of the 97. Show that he still has some speed with his Dodge engine. Meanwhile, Toyo and Pontiac battle up towards the front of the field. Crago trying to stay ahead of the 82. Keep, keep the Pontiac between himself and Riles. Hoefland can't get to the 97. Trying to fend off the 99. Riles' teammate, Kyle Corbett. Corbett's going to take a peek to the inside going into turn three. In fact, he's going to try and send it, but Hoefland blocks. And just as I predicted, Lamas is back outside the top ten. And now here comes the two of Jason Williams. Finally doing something with his Penske equipment and getting himself up into the top 10 ahead of Ravenhurst. So it does have a little bit of damage after making contact with the 3 of Lionheart. Hoefland loses the 6th position. There's a danger of losing more. Crago now side by side with the 25 through turns 1 and 2. As it looks like the, turns will, the outside lane is starting to come in more and more as laps wind down here. We are actually at less than 20 to go as, man, Spencer just sent it into turn number three there. Licking the stamp and everything, as Dan Ricardo would might say. It's so now Riles Corbett racing teammates. Riles and Corbett battle side by side for that fifth position.
Ooh, contact between teammates. Corbett uses his front bumper to get around Riles for fifth. That's going to be an interesting team meeting on Tuesday. Carpenter trying to be patient with the 13. Trying not to use the bumper, but getting ever so closer to the back end of that number 13 car. Crago up to third now. Size he's been all race long. Corbett now being aggressive still as we're just under as we have 15 to go right now. He knows it's near the end of the race. He wants to get up as far up the field as possible. Maybe make a challenge for the win. Able to clear the lap car of Langton. Hopefully, it's a little loose in one and two. Now side by side with Carpenter. However, Carpenter can't actually hold it on the inside lane. Actually loses a little bit of ground to 13. Almost lost the spot to the 83, who's now under fire from Steven Merzlach. Where did he come from? Merzlach having a great run today. Usually back half of the midfield, now up into the top 10, battling for 9. Able to take the spot easily as well. Corbett putting the pressure to the 25 of Spencer now, trying to get fourth place away from the 25. In fact, he's going to make a move to the inside down the front straightaway. And in turn one, couldn't quite tell there was contact there. Spencer does get a little loose trying to fend off 20, not 29, but 99. Side by side now for fourth. As the six does put a little bit of ground between him and the 77. It'll be 10 to go next time by in this race. Corbett knows time is winding down. He is trying to get there. Still side by side for fourth. And Corbett's going to take the spot easily in three and four. Now here comes the 82. Trying to unlap himself from the 25. Can't quite get there. Doesn't have to. Grip on corner exit. Murray's like now side by side with Carpenter for eight. The Carpenter's going to maybe hang on. Maybe. Yes. Just barely clear of the seven exiting turn number two. Nine to go at the line. Jason Williams now having a sniff at the edge of the top 10 once again. As he's putting the pressure to Tony Kaiser for that 10th position. Ravenhurst was briefly within the top 10, fell out of it. Still in 11th though, that might change though as Alan Bledsoe now goes for that 12th spot. Demoting the 47 to 13th. Hopeland still under fire from Carpenter for the seventh position. Hopeland doing a great job holding off the one for now. Corbett's been hunting down Crago for the last couple of laps, and he's gotten there. But can he do anything to get around Crago, or will Crago prevail? Ryle's still trying to find a way around Langston. Can't quite there, get there. Doesn't quite give the bumper to the... 82 just yet. Carpenter still trying to find a way around the three. Linehart, not Linehart. Spen or Mers like still trying to find a way around the one. Hold two tenths faster that time by for the 77 instead of the, ahead of the six. Actually, has the fastest lap of the race. It's actually Riles with a 25.905.
It was pretty damn fast. And just under a full tenth faster for the sixth of the last lap. As Craig was actually caught up to the 77 now with four to go at the line for, well, the entire field. With the exception of uh, the 92, which will have five to go. Yay, math! Caution comes out now. The race is, of course, over. Three to go at the line. Can Craig go find a way around Blade Runner? He's taking a peek for second. Down the front straight away. And in turn number one, Craigo will make the dive. As Carpenter is now trying to find a way around Hopeland on the outside, while Merzlek is following the 13 on the inside. Craig goes around 77 for second. Two to go at the line now. 99, trying to find a way around the 77 for third. Carpenter and Hoefland still side by side. Carpenter is going to get them moved on, though, as Hoefland slows up on the inside. Meanwhile, back up front, one lap for Sean English. He's led the most laps today, put on a great drive. Can he become the second rookie this season to win a race? Down and back straight away for the final time and into turn number three. It's been an excellent drive for him. He opened up his own team because nobody would give him the chance. And he's going to show why. Sean English wins at Pikes Peak. Merzlach just blips the 13 of Hopeland at the line for eight. Craig goes second, Corbett third, and 77 of Blade Runner fourth. Austin Spencer fifth, Riles sixth, Carpenter seventh. Like I said, Merzlach eighth, while Hopeland ninth. Alan Bledsoe tenth, Kaiser Williams, Bravenhurst, Trey Coleman with a surprising top 15, and Lamas, of course, rounding out the top 15. Rest of your results right there. Seven races, four different winners. Of course, with this, Sean English, of course, also locks himself into the chase as long as he's within the top of five points, which I'm pretty sure he is. He's been doing pretty well this season so far. Crago, surprise me, the one again. Corbett, having a lot better season. So apparently that theory, how every season he has... Fifth or third bank as his primary sponsor, he does well. Yeah, I give that a thumbs up. Anyways, but until uh, next time, it's gonna be oh, what's the next race? I think it's uh, I forget the next race. I forget the next race. Let me look it up real quick. The next race is going to be, because I have a Google Doc that I can look up real quick. I probably should be more prepared for this, shouldn't I? I just realized I opened up Season 2. Whoops. That's what I get for being underprepared. Alright, so next week is going to be Pocono. First time Pocono has been on the schedule for several seasons, actually. Which is going to be interesting. Also, this is the first time somebody has led more than, or somebody has had more than one pull this season. I just realized. So Riles won the pull back at Milwaukee, and he just won the pull here at uh, Pikes Peak, so... Riles wow, currently leading the poll list.
Well, anyways, uh, so yeah, Pogan is next week. Anyways, congratulations to Song Lee English for that. But until then, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you at the next race. So long, everybody.